with Overcomer, um, West Side Gun came in here buying some buffs. Did you know that? He was what? going to see Hutch. <laughs> He's going to see my man Hutch. Shout out to Hutch. And, um, <laughs> buffs, bro. What a lot of people don't know about Cartier buffs. Cartier, these are Cartier too, but buffs are the Buffalo, the Buffalo, um, they have the Buffalo arms on them. You know what I'm talking about? And diamonds in them. And they're usually like either a square frame, a big frame, and they got the diamonds here in the middle and the diamonds on the side. And it's like a Detroit staple, but it's getting real popular. A lot of athletes and shit wearing them and shit like that. So they becoming like the wave. So um, Gunn called me and said that he was here getting some buffs and uh, he was getting the stones placed in them. So it was going to take half the day. So he, he had time to, to, to burn. So he came up here. And uh, you know, we chilling, we kicking it, and we started going through samples. And um, we ran across this sample, and uh, I was gonna pass it. I was gonna pass the sample up. <laughs> now he told me, <laughs> we went by the sample. He was like, hold on, what's that? And I was like, what's what? He's like, what's that sample? I was like, bro, it's, it's by the Lintons. It, it's this. We didn't get that far, needless to say. As soon as he heard the beginning of it, he was like, yo, what's that? And now me, me personally, just looking at it, this little piece right here, with my rapper brain, this is technically not enough. Mm -hmm. My brain, my first thought was telling me that this little piece is just not enough. I need more things. So I'm looking, I'm looking here, right? He like, no. Just take that little piece and loop it. So I said, are you sure? Because that's not enough. He was like, yes, it is. And he couldn't understand what I was talking about. So he taught me something that day. And that's don't turn everything into a fucking science project. Don't overthink it. Don't because that'll make you overlook the simple things. And this is simple. And that right there to, to gun, that's a song. Right. To me, that was a headache. Right, right. Or, then, or, or interlude. Until, <laughs> until he started rapping. Mm -hmm. And as soon as, as soon as he started rapping, I was like, oh, I get it. Because initially he was like trying to figure out why I wasn't so why I wasn't more excited. <laughs> he was like, he was like, uh, he was like, this shit is beautiful. Yeah. I play this shit in my yo, way. He said, and that's crazy part, because I just seen him in LA and he said, yo, it was beautiful. He was like, that's how he explained it too. So um yeah, so I just had that plan. And he started writing. And I left the room and just left that plan. Wish you well, heard you got 30 up north inside me. He ain't need no scale. Ruby shells and Bloomingdale's. Work on the street, he had two for sale. Pistol in your mouth like a root canal. Well, like I said, as soon as he started rapping, I seen, I seen the vision. I seen what he was talking to. Now, initially, um, there, there's certain like producer, rapper codes that you don't break. Gun rap to this, that's what he rapped to. You don't go back after the person raps. And why they rapping ad drums to their to it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they never gonna hear it the same. I wasn't about to just have a song where we just rapping over a loop. <laughs> so I had to figure out a way to kind of like bring both of our worlds together. So I'm not, so it doesn't look like I'm using them to ride their wave. You know what I mean? So, um, so that's where I decided to build a song around them. He's always saying things in his verse that. If you're in a position where you need to build something around him, he's the perfect artist to do that because he 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 talk he speaks in sound bites, you know. So 
all we did was slang dope just kept speaking to me. And I felt like that was a, all we did with slang dope was a good sound bite to kind of summarize and sum up his verse. I took him saying all we did is slang dope and I created, I made it a hook. So I just took, he wasn't doubling the vocal, so what I did is I went in there and, and said it with him. And I took some of his, I took his vocal and doubled his vocal with, with him, if that makes any, how do I say that? Is it double? It's like, okay. But it sounded like, you made it sound like a crowd though too. It's like, it's like. Yeah, I made, yeah. Cause I wanted it to sound like a bunch of kids talking about all we did was slang dope. Mm -hmm. But by the time the song is over with, you realize that the song is about not having to slang dope no more. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the, um, one of the great things about Jay-Z is that you, he, he forced you. He made it to where you can't sum him up as a drug dealer. I wanted to find another piece of that same sample to use as kind of like an outro. And that's where this came from. I added the scratch rubs on that side. And this is just the part at the end when I was talking. Yeah, so I just took this piece. What I do is I'll make some on this side. So this part right here, once I knew that this was the part that I wanted to use, so I didn't even use this part. I used this part. So I just bounced it. I just highlighted it here and made a bounce of it. And I just put it on a little flash and I took it over on that side to Pro Tools. And I just added it um, into the session where he cut his vocals at. I put the scratch rubs in over there and I put all of, all of the effects that I used on there. Cause you know, I got like helicopters and fucking babies crying mm -hmm. and all of that in the end. I did all of that in Pro Tools. But this is where I chopped, this is where I chopped it at. And I just wanted to have some real random at the end. learning all of this as he going. <laughs> so watching it unfold like this is just as fun as like learning yourself because you, I know he just picking all this stuff up, but to have the knowledge, he already had knowledge of how to make records. That's the thing. Like some people, they'll start making beats, but you still gotta have some sort of knowledge of how to actually make a record. These drums I got from, from, um, from out of Ill Minds Pack. Mm -hmm. And uh, y'all hear that in the, at the end of it? It's like a echo. I mean reverb. It's like reverb. It lasts long as hell. It goes forever. I love that. Because this part is real noisy. You know what I mean? So trying to find the right drum that'll cut through. It wasn't hard, but um to me it, it just felt like it matched. So I used it. And then I wanted the song to come to like this big threshold to where it's just like boom, 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 and then just stop. That's why you heard the boom, 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 boom. And then the sample comes back in. Mm -hmm. And once that happens, then I can just start rapping. Mm -hmm. So now it becomes some Griselda and Royster 5 9 shit, not just some Griselda shit. And that's how I did it. Oh, 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 o